Hey YouTube, we're gonna learn a great uh, song, happy song called uh, Manipulation. And I think it's a good beginner song. Um, Yellow was the color of her hair On the sunburst red hot glare manipulation Alright, that's the um, verse and um, it's only got three chords D They may be playing a drop D but I'm not I'm just playing a standard tuning Remember, drop D only affects your uh, low or low string. Everything else is the same. Anytime you hear a song in the key of D, though, you should think, oh, maybe they're in drop D. So a D. Then after two lines of singing the D, the third line, you go to the F. Yellow, yellow was the color of her hair. And I'm just playing the simplified F. Index finger on fret one on your B string. Middle on fret two on the G. And ring on fret three on the D. I'm just playing those three strings. And it goes to G. Orange, orange was this red hot glare. Orange sunburst red, <laughs> something like that. Manipulation. Back to D. It always goes back to D. All right, and the introduction, uh, you can play the riff in the song. You can play it out. Uh, with your fingers anchored on the D, if you can reach that, that's easier. But it's uh, essentially, no matter how you play it, it's the same thing. Uh, you're playing it on the A string mostly. Uh, so it's just open, third fret on the A, open, second fret on the A, open, You can hit the A again if you want, and then uh, finish with the D, though. And then when, with that open D, you can get time to move your fingers. The key to this riff is uh, getting off that D chord, though. You're really not letting that ring out at all. After, after you go... The riff starts. And you can start it with that open A while your fingers are still on the D chord. Give yourself some time. Your fingers should be moving. Uh. And then the same thing with when you hit that open D, it gives you time to move back to the D. Or you could just keep your fingers anchored. If you keep your ring finger anchored on that D note on the third fret, you know, that kind of helps get back to the D quick, more quickly. Play it with one finger. If you can reach that, or two fingers.
that's the hardest part of that whole song is that little rhythm of that little riff. Um, and then the the chorus is very similar with one uh, small change. The singing goes up a whole octave. You can feel the madness. She will call you out. Watch out for the dark side. Cause soon you'll figure out. She's so wrong. <laughs> She's training you. She's got you dancing. With the change in the, the chorus is it goes to C after the D. So you go, you go two, you know, sections on the D. C. G. So do that uh, pull off, uh, makes it a D sus if you pull off your index. It's a lot of different variations you can do. Uh, you could do the riff uh, and pe pedal it against the D string. Uh, there I'm doing it with the A. The open A is what we call the pedal, but uh, you could do it. Instead of playing the A, I'm playing the D. It's just a variation. It's not in the song, but it gives you some ideas about what things you can do with this little D riff. Lots of songs that use that little D riff. Um, and then here's another thing you could do. You could do red, green, blue, red. Mm -hmm. Manipulation. Instead of playing the riff, you could go uh, on the on the two the first two lines. You could do a C G. And green was the color of her dress manipulation. Pale blue was the color of her eyes manipulation. I think there's a Led Zeppelin song that kind of uses the same uh, chord progression. Then F, yellow, yellow was the color of her hair. Numbers, red high glare, manipulation. You can be a madness. She will call you out. So that would be an option uh, to, just to play chords instead of that little D riff. All right, but uh, I think I've said all I have to say about that song, except uh, I do think it would work well with. Um, acoustic guitar and you could change the pronouns to he if you want to all right thanks bye